From Vegas to Thailand, the Hangover crew is back at it again. And this time, we've got even more monkeying around. We've got Phil, Stu, and Doug reprising their roles, and even a few new characters like Crystal the Capuchin Monkey. The Hangover Part 2 is in theaters May 26. Stay tuned for our cast interviews. You're watching Black Tree TV. <laughs> None of you know Stu like I do. Not you, not you, not you, not you, not anybody not know him the way I did, do. Nobody know him, and not you, not nobody. I can't even tell you what we've been through because we made a pact, more important than blood. <clears throat> what I can tell you is, this is not Stu's first marriage. There was a whore in Las Vegas a couple of years ago who was a- I found out that I'd be interviewing cast the hangover. I didn't know whether to get drunk last night and come in with a hangover or roll up a blunt with Zach or what. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I see you smoke a lot of weed. I don't smoke well, weed. You do it on television. You, you purport would, to. You always make weed jokes and hey so guys, what? we're all getting high. So what? I also I make jokes that I'm chubby. I'm not chubby. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, but, but, but for real though, uh, Hangover, like at the first one, nobody knew it was going to be as big a success as it, as it was. Does it change when you come into a film and now it already has this this all this weight of a the successful first picture? You know, did, did it change the mood of it? Or? I think there was a little bit of trepidation about doing uh, the sequel, at least in a few of our conversations, because it was part of it is like you want to leave well enough alone, but then the script came in, and I think we were all satisfied with that. How is it when you read all that, that material on the script? I mean, because on, on the screen it's, it's shocking, but I mean, your first read through on the script, and I'm not going to reveal any of the, the big jokes, but how when I read it, is it like, wow, that's too much? or yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's exa shock is the right word. I, I was shocked and uh, pleasantly, in a pleasant way though, because I really thought, uh, wow, he's done it. Todd, Scott, and Sean, and uh, Greg, that they've they've actually, you know, taken it to where it needs to go in order to merit a second one. It's kind of two things. Like it's oh my god, this is out of control. <laughs> it's too crazy. But then there's this party that's like, I get to do this insane stuff. I mean, it, it, that, and then there's this sort of yeah, it's this, there's this kind of excitement about it, too, so. Phil, I think it's happened again. Phil, what did you do? I didn't do anything, I swear to God. Your hair is gone. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Stu, come on, get up. We got a situation. <sighs> oh, holy. Where are we? Oh my god, Alan. Your head. No, your head. Right, right. Now, I was thinking, and I was talking to, to Justin about it, that maybe we should do part three after the success of part two and have you know, the, the crowd favorite, Alan, getting married. I don't think Alan is... Uh, marriage material? I don't think he's marriage. I don't even know if he has even uh, yes. a relationship with his sexual with asexuality. I don't think that there's any kind of... I don't know if a woman besides his sister has ever even talked to him. But maybe he would get married just to be like Phil and Stu. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Uh, to, yeah, okay, all right. And Bradley, you've had a successful career and following up on one, you've had a lot of pictures and even executive produce uh, Limitless. Did, you know, being behind the camera a little bit help in developing this? Because I know uh, uh, Mr. Phillips said that all of you guys kind of worked on this movie together. Did that allow you to give even greater input? I think all of us uh, helped with the second one by 
by the sheer nature that we had all done the first together. So the second one was a lot easier to get to the where we needed to go each day. Um, and the way the movie, the way this franchise works is it really is sort of an organic experience every day. We, we, we get together, we, re, we run the scene, and then we really sequester ourselves away and, and work on it and then come back and do it. And that's just, that's the flow every time. And even within the scene, Todd will, Todd's an active participant in every scene. It's like I can't remember any scene without him being a character in it as well. So it really is this true collaboration all the time. Well, um, definitely a funny picture, over-the-top comedy. We enjoyed it, and everybody else will. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. And much success to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.